come in close. Because the more you think you see, the easier it'll be to... Are you into heist thriller series? We have good news for you. Well, after being quiet since 2016, big news has finally surfaced. The first Now You See Me movie is all about a group of magicians called the Four Horsemen. They did some really cool tricks and pulled off some daring robberies using their magic skills, like making things disappear, hypnotizing people and doing quick hand movements. Now You See Me was pretty cool with its fresh idea, awesome cast and cleverness, even if some critics did not love it. The second movie did well too and it looked like a whole series was starting to take off. It just got even more exciting and there is a reason behind that. Rosamund Pike, who's been nominated for an Oscar, is joining the cast. We don't know much about her character yet, but it sounds like she's going to play a really important part in the movie. With Rosamund Pike joining, the cast of Now You See Me 3 is getting even more impressive and it seems like the movie might have a different vibe this time around, according to what Lionsgate, the company making the movie, is saying. And it sounds like the new movie might feel different from the first two. Lionsgate is saying they're going for a big change in tone. So, Fleischer is now the third director for a Now You See Me movie. Each director before him put their own special touch on the movies, making each one feel unique and special. We're not sure yet if the same actors from the other Now You See Me movies will be in the third one, but there's a good chance they will be. And who knows, maybe there will be some new faces joining them too. So, they told us about Now You See Me 3 back in 2016, but there wasn't much news about it for a long time. But recently, some big updates got everyone excited about it again. Louis Leterrier directed Now You See Me, and John M. Chu directed Number 2. The main stars are Mark Ruffalo, Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, and Dave Franco. Isla Fisher wasn't in Now You See Me 2, so Lizzie Kaplan joined instead. But they played different characters, so there's a chance both of them could end up coming back for a new movie. Jesse Eisenberg seems pretty hopeful about the movie, which probably means he's agreed to be in it. Otherwise, he wouldn't be so interested in what's happening with it. Other than the actors coming back, a couple of new people have joined the group for a sequel. Ariana Greenblatt, Justice Smith, and Dominic Sessa are just some of them. We don't know what their roles will be yet in the movie. At the end of the second movie, Ruffalo's character was asked to lead the Eye, a secret group of magicians. They hinted that the horsemen might join the group too. So, there are rumors and ideas floating around about Now You See Me 3. Some people think it might be a fresh start, especially with the Eye in the picture. Jesse Eisenberg, one of the characters, says the script for the third movie keeps the same vibe that made the first too special. He's really excited about how the movies celebrate smart thinking and aren't about violence, but still keep you on the edge of your seat. So even though we don't know any details yet, it sounds like Now You See Me 3 will keep that cool style that made the other movies so interesting. So, Rosamund Pike is joining the team for the new movie. It'll take us back to the tricky magicians, the Four Horsemen, and we'll also meet some new magicians. Rosamund Pike did a great job in the movie Saltburn by Emerald Fennell. She got nominated for Best Supporting Actress at the BAFTA Awards and Golden Globes. Right now, they're still getting ready to make the movie, which means it probably won't be out until at least 2025. They told us about Now You See Me 3 almost a year before Now You See Me 2 came out, so they've been planning this movie for quite a while now. In the first movie, we meet all the main characters. J. Daniel Atlas, played by Jesse Eisenberg, is a magician who does tricks on the streets and seems to be the leader of the group. He's joined by Merritt McKinney, played by Woody Harrelson, who's really good at hypnotizing people and reading minds. Henley Reeves, played by Isla Fisher, used to help J. Daniel Atlas as an escape artist and stage magician. And there's Jack Wilder, played by Dave Franco who's the youngest and is great at doing sneaky tricks with cards, making impressions, and picking locks and pockets. So, the four of them work together to show everyone that their sponsor, Arthur Tressler, 
played by Michael Caine, got rich by not giving people the money affected by Hurricane Katrina. During the first movie, they're chased by FBI agent Dylan Rhodes, played by Mark Ruffalo, who turns out to be the one behind their heist. He's actually working for a secret group of magicians called The Eye. Rhodes is actually the son of Lionel Shrike, a magician who died years ago while trying to escape from being underwater. He gets help with his investigation from Thaddeus Bradley, played by Morgan Freeman, who used to be a magician, but now he tries to show that magic tricks are fake. So, in Now You See Me Too, it's been 18 months since the horsemen pulled off their big escape. Rhodes is now in charge of the group and helps out while working for the FBI. Thaddeus, who got blamed for their heist, is stuck in jail. In this movie, Henley isn't with the horsemen anymore. Instead, Lula May, played by Lizzie Kaplan, joins them. After the horsemen make a big scene at a phone launch event, they somehow end up in Macau. In Macau, they get hired by Walter Mabry, played by Daniel Radcliffe, to steal a microchip used in the phone before it's sold. So, Dylan Rhodes and Thaddeus Bradley head to Macau to find the horsemen. The horsemen plan to steal the microchip and ruin Walter's plans by giving it to the eye. They almost get caught by Mabry, who tricked Atlas into thinking he's talking to the eye. But they manage to get away when Dylan shows up and fights off Mabry's guys. They then go to London to do a show and expose Mabry and his dad, Arthur. At the end of the movie, the horsemen get invited to meet the other Eye members. Turns out, the Deus is in charge. He shows them a secret way in and invites them to learn more about the Eye. He also asks Dylan to take over as the next Eye leader. In the third movie, we'll probably meet more Eye members and learn about the organization's history and what it's all about. Since the first two movies had villains connected to each other, it's likely that Arthur or his son Mabry will have something to do with what happens next. In the second movie, Mabry talked about going after the horsemen and maybe the Eye too. So in the third movie, there's gotta be something really exciting for the fans. The main cast will be back, along with some new characters. Sorry, there's no trailer yet for Now You See Me 3. But you know, it's possible that the people making the movie are trying to surprise us. They might be keeping us focused on one thing while they're secretly planning something else. A little bit of misdirection. It's been almost 10 years since they announced the third movie, and there hasn't been much news until now. Since this franchise likes to play tricks and keep us guessing, a trailer might pop up earlier than we think and catch us off guard. Lizzie Kaplan's character, Lula May, is totally different from Isla Fisher's character character Henley. So, some people are guessing she might come back too, but nothing's been confirmed yet. Fans are pretty disappointed when Lizzie Kaplan's character was different from Isla Fisher's, but don't be too surprised if she shows up unexpectedly. Her character in Now You See Me Too was really good at tricking people, so you never know. So, besides the rumors about Lizzie Kaplan coming back, there's talk about Benedict Cumberbatch joining the cast too. So who was your favorite character from the movie? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time.